I'll come to the main part. Uh, I'll go paper wise and that. Uh, first was the essay paper. So what happened? Uh, what happened was. Uh, in essay, uh, you may not find the difficulty in, uh, you know, collating your uh, content part because a large part of the content of your essay comes from your GS knowledge. The kind of examples that you use, they will come from world history or Indian history or you will uh, use maybe uh, geopolitical references you will use in your essay to give examples. But the problem arises in structuring your essay well. So even the UPSC notification, it says that your essay has to be as close to the topic as possible and your ideas have to be arranged in a very orderly manner. So this is the part that I struggled with. And uh, Okay, so I, and also you need to shed hesitancy when it comes to writing your essays and answers. Your first essay and your first answer will always be the poorest one. Still, when I look at, I feel really embarrassed when I look back at my first essay that I wrote, that how poorly written it was. But you need to get over that hesitancy. You need to start writing, and especially after your prelims, if you have calculated your score and all from the answer keys, provisional answer keys, and if you think you are comfortable enough to clear, then you need to start with the, your mains preparation right away. So um, yeah, I wrote my first essay after that and uh, of course it turned out very poorly. I was not struggling with content. I uh, circulated it amongst my peers and friends and they said that you have a problem in structuring your essays. And that is when Javad sir uh, came to my rescue and I enrolled uh, for his uh, course. So uh, how it helped me in the sense that sir used to make us write uh, essays on the previous year question topics. Uh, so I remember the first topic that you took up was the, um, it, uh, it appeared a couple of years ago, like one to two years ago, that uh, a ship in the harbor is safe, but that is not what a ship is for. So the benefit of writing essays on PYQ topics is uh, off late, UPSC has been asking questions on philosophical topics. So you are able to gauge the, that whether you are able to interpret the topic or not or whether uh, your interpretation, of course, uh, uh, philosophical essays, the best part is that it provides you a lot of scope for imagination, for creativity. But then your interpretation cannot vary very much from uh, that of others, because otherwise it would mean that you have missed the demand of what was being asked. So when you uh, uh, start out with your essay practice, try to uh, do it on the previous year question topics only. Try to understand the topic first. The, the disaggregate the topics, understand what are the keywords in the uh, topic. Uh, then, of course, uh, sir will definitely help you with the structuring of the essays. Uh, prepare your own unique strategy. And for practicing, I would say again, uh, so this is something that has remained constant in my strategy, giving test in a simulated environment. That I would write down essay, I would time myself out that I have one and a half hour. So there are two essays we have to write, three hour paper. So roughly one and a half hour for every essay. So I uh, set this time limit for myself that I would take uh, 15 minutes for brainstorming and preparing a skeletal framework of the essay. And I would take one hour, 15 minutes to write that down. So majority of your work is done in brainstorming only that you do uh, in the rough sheets at the end of your answer booklet that this is how I will introduce. I will use an anecdote or a phrase or a reference from any uh, famous book. I will use this to introduce the topic. Then I will uh, give some examples to substantiate. Then I will give my thesis statement, which is my understanding of the topic. So this is how I prepared a, a framework. What happens is when you've done that, it becomes easier for you to write down. You don't have to sit back in the exam hall and think Ki, uh, what should I write next? What should I add in the next paragraph? So uh, this was uh, all about uh, uh, essay. Uh, okay, besides this, uh, uh, one additional thing that I did for myself was I had uh, prepared a uh, two page uh, notes for essay. So one page had all the famous anecdotes that uh, I would use to introduce any essay. And these anecdotes are uh, things that you already know. A lot of people, they give anecdotes of uh, famous World Cup matches, like when Dhoni finished it off in style. I, like, I don't follow cricket much, but a lot of people introduce the essays these way. So uh, the anecdotes that I listed down for myself was uh, uh, Prince uh, Siddhartha's departure uh, from his home and how he turned into Buddha after enlightenment with this. Then there's this, uh, uh, your uh, Rosa Parks uh, incident 
I would say, about racial profiling, how it uh, sparked a wave of uh, protest. So these are uh, some of the anecdotes I had, uh, or even this, this is also one of my favorite ones that I've used a lot. Uh, Chanakya's machinations, how he installed Chandragupta Maurya on the throne after he was banished by uh, the Nanda ruler. So these were some of the anecdotes I had uh, prepared on a one-page note that I would introduce my essays with any of these, depending on the theme being asked. <coughs> And another page, uh, I had listed all the uh, quotes, famous quotes. Uh, so what you can do, uh, sometimes what happens, we unconsciously remember a lot of quotes in our life. So list those down first. And then maybe what is uh, taught in the um, class or uh, the any famous uh, quote uh, of uh, maybe important leaders like uh, Churchill, Nelson Mandela and all, they have given very uh, beautiful quotes. So prepare, uh, I prepared a one pager for uh, my quotations that I would use. Another interesting fact is that you can always use your previous year topic as quotes for your uh, essays in this year. And this is something that I did in my actual paper in 2023. So uh, there was uh, uh, the topic that I wrote essay on in section A was uh, uh, visionary thinking lies at the crossroads of intuition and logic. So in this you have to give both sides of the uh, argument uh, about uh, visionary thinking being inspired from logic or sometimes it is intuitive also, it comes naturally to us. In this I, uh, essay, while I was writing this essay, I used a quotation that was uh, asked as a previous year essay topic. And that was, history is a series of victory won by the scientific man over the romantic man. So, uh, and I also remember this, uh, uh, another quote that I used, uh, that is a previous year topic, the hand that rocks uh, the world, that rocks the cradle rules the world. That is about the importance of mothers and women in general. So you can always uh, include those previous year essay topics as quotes that you would be using. That was uh, about the essay. Uh, now coming to uh, GS1. So I think uh, the um, modern history, art and culture part, okay, so I missed the art and culture as subject in prelims. So how I went about it, I referred, I kept my sources uh, minimal for all the papers, and especially for art and culture, because uh, a lot of time, there's this uh, thick book by Nitin Singhania, sir. So a lot of students refer to that, but I uh, did not read that book, because I felt that uh, um, art and culture is something that you work sometimes really hard for and uh, a lot of questions uh, they just go overboard and we are not able to answer. So I found it a, a less rewarding area. So I stuck uh, to class 12th I think NCRT that uh, red color NCRT, it's a thin NCRT for art and culture. I read that and for paintings uh, uh, the, uh, a teacher had suggested to me so uh, for the paintings uh, your regional uh, schools of painting and all like the Bundi school and the Pahadi school of painting. Um, uh, so for paintings, I prepared my notes for this website. There's this government website, CCRT website. So uh, I think it's Center for Cultural Resources and Training. So it has given a very interesting point-wise, short paragraph-wise format only on the website and you can prepare your paintings notes. Since a couple of years, paintings are not being asked, but I, since I had to cover everything, so I prepared my painting notes. So that was about art and culture in prelims. Mm -hmm.